Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone! Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang with Season 3 of K-Check. Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they will go. Stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Ariane is a student from the National Institute of Physics. She is a part of the Photonics Research Laboratory, UP Lacan Diliman, and the UP Astronomical Society. She loves reading detective novels, writing, illustrating, and just having a cup of coffee. She's also a certified Swifty, ang dami ninyo, and an art enthusiast. Si Kurt naman is a physical education student from National University, Manila. His hobbies are dancing, playing mobile games, and pretending. Ano kaya yung pretending na yan? Si Daph naman, BA Theater Art student in UP Diliman, majoring in technical theater and design. She's also a member of the UP Repertory Company. She enjoys playing video games and watching Korean dramas in her free time. And last but not least, we have Eman, who is a student of UP Diliman under the BA Art Studies Program. He is interested in the intersectionality of art. He also has two dogs named Fish and Coral. Fish and Coral. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. So, let's begin! This is round one. Question number one, contestants. In May 2024, Lawrence Wong was inaugurated as the fourth Prime Minister of which Southeast Asian island nation? The correct answer is Singapore. Question number two. Marte D is Italian and Mardi is French for what English day of the week? Well, the answer is Tuesday, like Martes in Spanish or Filipino, and they are all named after the Roman god Mars. Question number three. Although water is not involved, what do you call a party for a woman who is going to give birth soon with guests bringing presents? Eman, baby shower? A baby shower is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. Which actor played an astronaut in the film The Martian as well as the title role in the movie Jason Bourne? Parang iniisip sana ni Kurt. Matt Damon ba ang sagot mo, Kurt? Matt Damon is the correct answer. Question number five this time. In what continent can you find Scandinavia? Scandinavia is in Europe. Question number six. Sabi si Gorilla, parang ang dali naman nung question. Totoo kaya yan? Question number six. Joseph Priestley discovered which gaseous element that is essential in respiration? Eman. Oxygen. Oxygen is the correct answer. K-check. Question number seven. Which song by Noriella or Chris Brown has a title that means having false or unrealistic beliefs?
sino ba ang delusional? Question number eight. What term for the residue of coal left after destructive distillation has the same name as a popular carbonated drink? Ariane. Carbon. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is Coke. Question number nine. In elementary math this time, what is the product of two-thirds and three-fourths in lowest terms? The product of two-thirds and three-fourths in lowest terms is one-half. Question number 10. In sports, which Filipino won the gold medal in the pole vault at the USATF Championships in Los Angeles on May 18, 2024? Carlos Siulo. Uh, the answer is incorrect. The correct answer is, naku, ang tagal na nasa balita nito, si E.J. Obiena. Question number 11. Eucalyptus leaves are poisonous to most animals, but it is the main food of which tree-dwelling Australian marsupial? Ariane. Koala bears. Koala is the correct answer. k -check. Question number 12, and the last question for this round. Who became President of the United States in 2017 at the age of 70? Uh, Emma. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the correct answer. k -check. And that's it for the first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Emma is leading with 30 points, followed by Ariane with 10 points, at si Kurt at si Daph naman. Pwede pang humabol sa ating susunod na rounds. But before that, uh, pag-aanin muna natin yung atmosphere ngayon. Okay, meron tayong tinatawag... Mga <laughs> kinakabahan mga contestants <laughs> May segment natin. dito na kinikilala natin, syempre, yung mga background ng mga contestants natin. Dito ang... Kay Chica! So, simulan natin si Arian na napakasayan. So, what career are you hoping to have after school? Oh, physics, di ba? Physics. I'm actually aiming to be a physics educator po in high school or college level. May, may inaay ka na ba na school na gusto mong pagturuan? Uh, probably po kung sa National Institute of Physics, pero I'm open naman po to teach sa public schools outside NCR po. Si Atom Araulio ay physics din, pero nasa journey siya ngayon. So talagang sobrang kaya kahit saan. Pero buti din yan na she will share her wisdom with yes. our, the with the youth. Yes. So ito namang si Kurt, ay nako kailangan mag-explain. Ano ba nang ibig mong sabihin pag sinasabi mong ang sariling hobby mo na paborito mo ay pretending? Actually po, uh, wala naman po. Nalagay ko lang po yun kasi wala na akong maisip. <laughs> Pretending na meron. <laughs> Pero nagawa mo na ba? May instance na ba na nag-pretend ka? Yes po. Ano yan? About my gender po. Ganun. Yan, interesting yung mga kwentong ganyan. Lalo na papalapit na ano. Hindi, ano na pala. Pride ngayong ano. June, di ba? Yung Pride Month. Okay, maraming salamat sa interesting na stories ninyo, Arian at Kurt. Pero syempre, hindi natin papalagpasin si Daf at si Eman. Babalikan namin kayo mamaya. Pero paghandaan muna natin ang round 2. Susunod na sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! -check. Welcome back at tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. And after that round, we just want to have a recap. We have Eman in the lead with 30 points, Ariane with 10, Kurt and Daf with a lot of catching up to do. Yes. So ngayon, ituloy na natin ang second part ng... Kay Chica! Si Daf naman. So Daf, mas gusto mo ba talagang backstage kaysa onstage? At bakit? Ano po, uh, realistically lang po, in the Philippines, it's hard to be on stage, lalo na if wala ka namang name sa industriya. So, mas realistic yung mag-backstage na work. 
backstage muna. Oh, Pwede. Oh. Yun. <laughs> Nag-aantay lang siya ng oh, oh. opportunity. Ikaw mismo yung magka-carve ng name mo. Sarili mo. Simula mo dito sa UP, sa repertory. Dito. Go girl, yes. di ba? You go girl. I'm not sure if this is the first time we've had the contestants from... From rep. From UP rep, no? Parang she is the first. Mahuhusay ng mga artista ng bayan. <laughs> Dito naman tayo kay Eman. What do you mean when you say the intersectionality of art? At si Prof. Sophie. Nagiging professor mo ba? <laughs> si Prof. Sophie. Yeah. Hi, Naku ma'am. Naku lang. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. So, uh, when I say I'm interested in intersectionality of art, yung major ko po kasi is uh, interdisciplinary. So, parang I'm interested in art in medical field or sciences, theater. So, maraming branches yung art eh. So, mundane art kanyan and mass-oriented art. That's what I'm interested in. So, intersectionality ba ang dahilan kung bakit fish at coral ang pangalan ng iyong non-sea pets? <laughs> uh, kaya fish and coral kasi I have baby pin senses. Tapos, uh, when I gonna say na, do you wanna see fish? They'll just, I know, be there looking at the dog. This is fish. <laughs> I just find it funny. Oo nga, medyo. So in any case, maraming maraming salamat for sharing more insights about yourselves. But now it's back to work and it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in. But please make sure to strategize. Dahil sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points now if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. In geography, what term meaning chief sea do you call a group of islands like the Philippines? Correct answer is archipelago. Question number two. What term for an angle that measures more than 180 degrees can also mean an automatic response to a stimulus? Ariad. Reflex. Reflex is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What do you call the short oblong piece of fiberglass mounted on four wheels which is ridden by competitors in a sport at the Asian Games. The correct answer is skateboard. Question number four. Nicole Scherzinger, whose father is a Filipino, was a member of what girl group for the hits Stick With You and Don't Cha? That. Pussycat Dolls. Pussycat Dolls is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In history, Catherine of Aragon and Catherine Parr were wives of which monarch? Aryan. Henry VIII. Henry VIII is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What element that may be a black mass or colorless crystal has an atomic number six? Eman. Carbon. Carbon is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What do you call the morbid fear of foreigners or of anything that is strange or foreign? Da. Alienation. Alienation is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is xenophobia. Question number eight. What university swept both the 2024 men's and women's volleyball course? Correct? National University. National University or NU is correct. So that's uh, championships for volleyball men's and women's at the UAAP. So NU or National University is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the name of the purple T-Rex created by Cheryl Leach who conveys educational messages through songs and small dance routines? That. Barney is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What is the surname of the Filipino industrial designer, Kenneth, that Time magazine called Ratan's First Great Virtuoso? The 
correct answer is kobon po eh. Question number 11. Bellatrix Lestrange was voted best female villain in the movies by Ranker.com. In what film franchise does she appear? Aryan. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is correct. Key check. Last question for this round, number 12. What part of speech do the words above, from, and toward belong? Aryan. Prepositions. Prepositions or preposition is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. And after that round, we have Ariane with 90 points in the lead, followed by Eman with 50, Daph with 30, and Kurt with 20 points. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng... Okay, check. check. Welcome back to K-Check, everyone. Bago tayo mag-umpisa sa ultimate pagalingan round, isang points recap muna. We have Arian in the lead with 90 points, followed by Eman with 50, Daph with 30, and Kurt with 20 points. Pero meron pa po tayo ngang paparating na ultimate pagalingan round, kaya hindi pa natin alam kung sino nga ba ang magiging daily winner natin today. Tama, dito correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question, Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. A famous 1962 painting by pop artist Andy Warhol showed 32 cans of what grocery staple? A. Libby's corned beef B. Ligo sardines C. Jolly mushrooms D. Heinz tomato ketchup E. Campbell soup Naman. D. Heinz tomato ketchup Mali po. Kurt. C. Jolly Mushrooms. Mali po. Daph. E. Campbell Soup. Yes, um, Campbell Soup is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. This refers to the reutilization of buildings designed to conserve the site, their engineering integrity, and the authenticity of design. A. Adaptive Reuse B. Conservation Engineering C. Design Intervention D. Heritage Architecture E. Utilization Infrastructure Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Adaptive Reuse Next question, Prof. Marla the computer science. What is the process of finding errors and correcting them in a computer program called A. Debugging B. Compiling C. Executing D. Coding E. Testing A. Debugging A. Debugging is correct. K. Check. Thank you. Off to our second set of questions, Prof. Sophie. Um, in literature, the prolific Tagalog writer Jose de la Cruz, um, 1746 to 1829, was the mentor of Francisco Balagtas. By what name was de la Cruz also known? A. Lalabasang. B. Laonglan. C. Husing Batute. D. Husing Sisiu. E. Agapito Bagumbayan. Okay, Jose de la Cruz was also known as Husing CCU uh, because he would accept CCU as payment no, for his writing. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Next, Prof. Neil. Sa mitolohiyang Hindu, nagsisilbi ang bundok na ito bilang sentro ng kalawakan 
at ang tahanan ng mga Diyos. A. Varata B. Harapa C. Meru D. Mohenjo Daro Aman. C. Meru Tamang sagot ay letter C. Meru K. Check Okay Nag-lead na si Eman ngayon by Siya ngayon points. nasa first place Leading by 5 points over Arian Okay, tingnan natin Prof. Marla which of the following animals uses echolocation to navigate and find prey? A. Bat B. Eman, letter A. Bat Let me finish reading the options. B. Lion C. Dog D. Starfish E. Cow A. Bat is correct. K. Check we're halfway done. Let's yeah. do a points recap, attorney. And as we said, Eman is now in first place with 125 points, followed by Ariane with 90, Daf with 60 points, and Kurt with 5 points. But we still have 180 points left for the next two sets of questions. That's right. So, so mag-iba pa yan. Baka mag-iba pa yan. Okay, simulan natin, Prof. Sophie. Probably the most iconic detail from the Sistine Chapel ceiling is the creation of Adam. The whole ceiling took which Renaissance artist four years to paint? A. Raphael B. Leonardo C. Michelangelo Eman. Letter C. Michelangelo Okay, I'll just finish. D. Donatello E. Botticelli The correct answer is Michelangelo Okay, check! Thank you. Maybe class ni Prof. Sophie mo natutunan yun. <laughs> Prof. Neil? Anong bansa sa Africa ang sinalakay ng Italy noong 1935 bilang paghahanda sa pagpapalawak ng teritoryo nito bago sumiklab ang ikalawang digmaang pandaydig? A. Ethiopia B. Kenya C. Morocco D. Nigeria E. Tanzania Ang leader ng Italy nung panahon na yun si Benito Mussolini. Ang gusto niyong salakayin ay ang letter A. O nasalakay talaga niya to. A. Ethiopia. Thank you. Prof. Marla, next question. What is marine ecology the study of? A. Ocean currents. B. Marine mammals. C. Interactions among organisms and their environment in marine ecosystems. D. Ocean Chemistry E. Underwater Caves Eman. Letter C. Interactions among organisms and their environment in marine ecosystems The answer is correct. K. Check And now we're off to the last set of questions And at this point Eman is in the lead with 185 points Ariane with 90 followed by Daph with 60 Kurt with 5 points. Last 90 points for this set. Prof. Sophie. Which famous person has monuments erected in their honor in Hawaii, Singapore, Spain, Germany, Peru, and the Czech Republic? A. Ferdinand Magellan B. George Washington C. Marie Curie D. Jose Rizal E. Simon Bolivar Marian D. Jose Rizal uh, Jose Rizal is correct. K. Check Thank you. Prof. Neil. This is a place where public and private records in any format have been selected for permanent preservation because of their evidential, historical, and informational value. A. Archives B. Conservation Engineering C. Heritage Storage D. Information Science E. Library Arian A. Archives Tamang sagot, letter A. Archives, K. Check So, last question from Prof. Marla. In plant cells, 
which structure is responsible for storing water, nutrients, and waste products? A. Nucleus B. Ribosome C. Chloroplast D. Vacuole E. Mitochondria Chloroplast. Mali. Kurt. D. Vacuole. The correct answer is D. Vacuole. K-check. That's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Eman, our K-check Daily Winner with a final score of 185 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semifinals. So, maraming salamat din kay Ariane who gave Eman a run for his winning today, Kurt and Daph. And also, maraming salamat din sa mga miyembro ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.